Let's see how it detours. Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for another 12.5.1.5 video. Um, wasn't gonna make one this morning, but I decided, hey, the car decided to route my original Carl Sandburg route. Sounds, seems like the construction is done on that road and the road is now open. So, we are gonna do our, our original route and we're gonna see how that works. Um, glad to see a bunch of new subscribers. So if you are new, welcome. I appreciate you being here. The support is much appreciated in this testing. Might not have you know, the polished quality of others. Um, shout out to um, you know, Chris, Chuck, um, AI Driver, all those guys doing great work. Um, but you know, just, this is more for me, I just want it to be kind of a hobby and, and more than anything. And you know, if we can make a you know tiny bit of money on the side to, to support the hobby, then that that works great too. Um, otherwise, you know, just uh, want to record everything as you can uh, as you know. Um, there are playlists. You'll see those down below the like button. But um, the playlists show you all the previous history of full self driving. You can see almost every single version, even on um, pre public release. You can see almost every version of beta. Uh, to see how it performs, you know, what issues I was having, the disengagement rates, all of that is all recorded in those playlists. And so it makes it, uh, it's just a cool historical record, you know, as scientific as I can possibly make it. You know, the same exact routes, I don't vary from the routes. Um, it's, it's quite difficult to maintain the routes because the car wants to reroute for navigation. And let's see if it's going to merge on the highway by itself. There's a car behind me. See, that's the thing, it's not doing it again. See, it, that, it was a one-off. Um, on, so this is the, <laughs> I only really drive on the weekends. Oh, those flowers are pretty on the left side over there. Um, I only really drive on the, on the weekend. And I just didn't have to go anywhere in the middle of the week this week. And, you know, I hadn't been on the highway since. So obviously that was a one-off, unfortunately. Um, so I can't wait until version 12 is on the highway. So it'll actually properly merge onto the highway and it'll it'll have a lot better performance. Interesting, so the speed just went back up to 65 even though we're in a 55 zone. Is it gonna go back down the, yeah, it just ignored the sign. Let me go ahead and give another screenshot there. It's, just, it's a little bit frustrating because sometimes it'll read that and sometimes it won't. Even though I had a clear open view of the of the speed limit sign, it did not read it. And I think I'm on the average profile. If the cars in front of me are going too slow, it's going to try and get over, unfortunately. But because there's no construction workers here, I'm not really worrying about it too much. I don't see a police car sitting, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Everyone drives this speed anyway. Going across here, it says we're not really in a construction zone anymore. It's not that big of a deal. decide what lane to be in is kind of annoying. Why is it, why is it, why is it coming to a stop? It could have made that. <laughs> what the heck? I'm, I'm absolutely, what, what? That's ridiculous. I had a full green light and it came to a stop. Well, that's BS. Yeah, handle that handle this is actually really well super smooth having that car cut out in front of me and it slowed down perfectly basically 
Like if my eyes were closed, I probably could hardly tell it even slowed, I even slowed down for a car cutting out in front of me. What it needs to do though is see that light up ahead sooner and start slowing down before the cars in front of me start slowing down. It shouldn't need to rely on the cars in front of me to start slowing down for a light far up ahead. And I think that is, it seems to be a potential limitation of the cameras in this car. Uh, it just doesn't react to lights far enough ahead. Now maybe that's because most humans don't do that, which is frustrating. <laughs> as, it, as a human, I'm, I'm a defensive driver. So I like look far up ahead, I'm like, okay, light turn red, I'm gonna start slowing down. There's no point to stay my same speed if I'm just gonna come to a stop anyway. And also that makes the car more efficient. So I'm, I like to be a hyper miler in a, a sense, if you will. I'm not hardcore about it. But I like to, I don't like to purposely like waste energy. I know I should be in the left lane over here. The car doesn't know that. Um, doesn't have to be in the left lane, but this lane ends right at right at the CVS right here. It just immediately ends right past the light. And so my car has to then accelerate and get in front of this truck and then merge over or get behind it, one of the two. It's fine if you're the first car in front here and then you're, you're gonna actually go for it and get in front of this truck or get in the front of the car behind you, which seems like that's what it's gonna do. See if it turns on the blinker. It's normally just kind of, yeah, see that's just not, to me that's not acceptable. And it should turn on the blinker, should you go ahead and get over. It obviously did it smoothly. The truck behind me is actually not even close to me. But um, yeah, it's just, it just doesn't, it's unnecessary um, to do that. We haven't been through this in a long time, but this has improved. It slowed down very appropriately for those railroad tracks, and they added this stupid bin in here after they re, um, widened this road. Also, I think the map data is probably old as well. So it kind of freaks out in here. It's going to... Oh, let's, let's see how it detours. I made it. <laughs> okay. But the person behind me is like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hopefully they can read the little bumper sticker on the back of the car since it's a self-driving car. <laughs> My hand touched the steering wheel, but obviously I didn't intervene because otherwise it would have disengaged. Just being extra cautious. So yeah, the map data was wrong. It saw that uh, it was able to go around the signs and it uh, rerouted. So this, this route's not going to be exactly the same, but no, this, is, this is a good test. That's that, that's good. You have to be able to reroute for a detour and know know how to follow the follow the detour. So this route ended up being just a little bit more difficult for the car than my normal test route. Uh, so we're gonna go still put it on the playlist since it, just, since it, most of the way was uh, the same way. But um, yeah, this ended up making it more difficult and it aced it. All right, so we can make this turn here. I think I ran over the curb. I knew I was gonna. I knew I was gonna say that too soon. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah. I'll put the vi um a little clip in here if it decides it or if it actually curved my wheels. 
But otherwise, um, basically zero, yeah, zero interventions. Um, it handled that detour well. Yeah, I think uh, I think that we're gonna call it at that. If you guys have any questions for me, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.